Our geeky science for the day over at HunterandAFarmersWorld.com, we published a piece yesterday uh, titled ADHD, Can You Overcome Procrastination? And in that piece, what I'm talking about is uh, time, uh, the sense of time that people with ADHD for, you know, one of the more common things that I've heard described from people with ADHD, uh, both adults and children, is that they can't parse time. That you know, in terms of time, there is now, and then there's some other time. Past, future doesn't make any difference. It's just like all kind of a giant blur, all mashed together. And this makes, you know, procrastination easy and planning hard. And what I've discovered, and this is based on NLP, is if you ask somebody to, uh, uh, to uh, you know, think of something that they have to do, um, you know, in the next week, for example, and then ask them to point at that event, a person with a functional timeline will point in front of themselves. But people with dysfunctional timelines, where their time is just all over the place, they'll point off to the right or off to the left or, you know, up or down or whatever. Um, and you can actually imagine time as a line going right through your body uh, with the future in front of you and the past behind you. And you can actually, in your imagination, essentially, grab your timeline and move it around and move things on that timeline. And when you do, it, it takes a little rehearsal. Uh, you have to do it a few times. But when you do, uh, what you discover is that your relationship to time changes and it becomes much easier to understand time and to plan and to not procrastinate. So if you want the instructions on how to do that, uh, the website is hunterinafarmersworld.com. And uh, it's the piece that I just published yesterday, ADHD, Can You Overcome Procrastination? And it's true for, you know, pretty much everybody, not just people, not just hunters, not just people with ADHD.